So we heard today that um, cryptocurrency can be used for good, um, and we heard also some of the benefits, instantaneous transaction money, lower the cost of uh, the transaction, and also probably one of the most important ones is that it would enable people without a bank account to actually send and receive money. But what I would like to talk to you today is about how notary application can actually be used for good. I am the um, technical and business partner at Runways. We are a company that enables instant verification of professional and academic qualifications. We are a company that tries to make money. We are a startup for free. We are intended this to make money, but also to make some good along the way. And my presentation today is about to tell you how we are going to achieve that. So I hope I haven't broken this. Uh, okay. First of all, I would like to tell you a brief story. A couple of weeks ago, I was um, in Berlin uh, at the tech fair, and uh, um, a big director from a really big company in Germany, an household name, I'm sure that each of you will have at least one product of this company, came to us about the fact that they tried to hire, they hired some, in fact, they hired somebody from South America. Now, German HR applications are pretty heavy, and people provided a copy of their qualifications. So after a series of Skype interviews, the person was brought to Germany, and this person was hired and worked for six months up until they discovered that the whole qualification were fake. This person was uh, obviously let go and had to go back to South America. That's good business for us because we are in the business of, I'm going to tell you how good we are at um, very fine academic qualification on the blockchain, but I felt that there was a loss there. Not for the big company, you know, if they make a bad decision about their HR process, well, they have to learn from that. We can certainly hire you to help along the way. Not for the person who lied, and each of us has to take responsibility for his own action. But I thought about all the people that do not belong in the advanced economy, that would like to come to the Western world to improve their conditions, or even to bring some of their expertise back home, that now will be denied the opportunities. Because one big director in a big company can have a huge influence. It's very unlikely that the world, that company will trust in the future um, a university unknown to the Western world, and it's very likely that that director will talk to other directors in other companies. So how can we help? So let me tell you a little bit about CVs and how currently it works. So today, when we apply for a job, we send out a CV. This is a simplified version of it. And if you are an employer or a, um, a management or, or an employee consulting company, you would determine, based on the CV, whether you would like to hire the candidate, you probably invite for an interview. If you see somebody trustworthy, you may or may not decide to make some background checks. Those background checks, however, will take you about four weeks, probably, okay? And still, they are not fully reliable. And if you are hiring in a hurry, you may decide, in fact, to skip some of those background checks. Okay, so what actually we can do, what grant base can do actually is something a little bit better. You have seen now that we have some QR code on the CVs and those are effectively ways in which you could verify the academic qualification of your candidate with a tap of the phone instantaneously. Okay, and so what we do we create a playing field for all candidates because it doesn't matter where you come from, if you can trust the qualification, and the qualification I would like to specify, different from any other organization, is put not by the candidate, but the source of data. And that makes the difference. And we do vet each source of data. So you can trust our system. So once you can trust the system, it doesn't matter where the candidate comes from, it suffices that you trust the university and then you can hire the person. 
So it doesn't matter how the candidate, oh sorry, looks like, where it comes from, what is his ethnicity. The only thing that matters is that the university produces, um, it, you trust it, the, the, um, the university. So just to clarify how we operate, we have a fully developed product that is compliant with the, um, um, to the Data Protection Act and also to the Future Data Protection Act as well. And what happens is that, uh, so here, issuer upload the records. Um, they, they don't quite upload the records. They upload a cryptographic <coughs> register. Okay? And I agree what has been said earlier that a lot of what the blockchain <coughs> does uses technology that has been, this has been developed in the last 30 years and probably mostly financial institutions have been used. So financial digests have been um, around in computing since the, um, the 80s. So we upload on the blockchain a financial, uh, a cryptographic digest of the data, but effectively the university does that, or the issuer. The candidate will receive a CD, is a QR code, and the candidate has the right to put a QR code on their CV if they want to. And then the employee can, again, I would like to emphasize that, just by tapping the phone, can verify that effectively um, the academic qualification is true. So it's a relatively simple method and it works. What I would like to ask you, how many academic institutions are here in this room today? Good. <laughs> Good. I hope you can come and talk to us. <laughs> I need a pilot now. <laughs> you know, it's very simple and it's very good. <laughs> so, um, so, as I said, we do is the thing is verification. What I would like to, to say today, however, is specify why we use the blockchain. Because the title of this um, symposium or event or meeting is Blockchain for good, not technology for good. Very often when I hear people talking about technology, the blockchain, they say, oh, it doesn't matter that technology, only what matters is the use case. But I disagree. Because, because if it's only what matters the use case, you go to somebody, to consult them, and they will tell you what is the best technology. And I would like to say why we do use um, uh, blockchain. Um, first of all, we use it because of the fully distributed nature, nature of the ledger which is very useful to us in terms of reliability. Uh, we use it because it doesn't allow us to say that we own all the data, we just put the cryptographic digest there, and you know people can use our system to verify it. And uh, so there is a sort of lack of ownership. We don't have to justify why do we have this database, who owns it, it is ours, it is yours, you know. It is effectively the user how we want to use it. Um, and so, but obviously, we offer. Obviously, I mean, we do offer service to people if they want to keep some of the data into our database in a more traditional way. Okay. So, I am not a marketing person. I'm not going to tell you ever that blockchain is the solution for everything. This is not a solution for professional immigration from the developing world. <coughs> I have worked in academia for a large part of my life before moving into the um, industrial uh, work in the, within industry, industry. I know, working in a very elite university, how difficult it is to evaluate universities and how difficult it is for employers to hire people. We are not here to solve the problems, but what we are here to solve is enabling people that are worth it that come from worthy university that are not known today to the Western world to be able to move into the Western world and for companies to be clear that those qualifications are valid. So I would like to make our statement very, very, very clear about that. Okay? So in a sense, we hope that if this technology will become mainstream, because we are at the beginning, we are a startup, this will help university to be well known and candidates to, to move because employer can trust us in this. Okay. Um, at the moment, we are using the, we are in that pilot mode, and we are using the Bitcoin blockchain simply because it's easy. Our technology is completely um, ledger agnostic, and we are planning to move forward um, um, to other blockchains. The good doesn't stop for the candidate and for the uh, for the um, for the uh, employers, but extends to a large number of stakeholders. 
The first thing I would like to say is that we return a part of, part of the fees that we get from employer back to the universities. And I would like to reflect a moment about this, okay? Because if you are a Western university, it can be something nice to have. If you are a Western in not an advanced economy, and depending on your exchange rate, if your candidate coming to the Western world, that can be quite a nice amount of money you make every year. Okay, so we are willing to give, and we do give back to university. We are fe flexible subscription freeze to enable everybody to use our technology, but more importantly, we do make it free for charities. How many charities are here today? Please come and talk to us. We are willing to work with you and to offer this technology for free. Okay, a little bit of marketing now, but something that is also very true. So we believe that our technology can do a little bit more, okay? So this is an example of a, a Nigerian software engineer who's worked for the US, who worked in the US for a very long time. And during one of Trump's um, uh, presidential ban, ban on immigration, was stopped at uh, JFK and was asked a technical question about software engineering to prove that he was actually a software engineer, which is a little bit of a shame. So, you know, with our QR code and with our technology, effectively, the only thing you have to do is show the QR code and prove that actually you are <coughs> employed where you claim you are, you, are, you are employed, and you should really be able not to be exposed to humiliating questions about your professional, uh, your, your professional qualifications. Right, we are coming to the end. So, first of all, I hope I have convinced you that we are an innovative technology, we are user-friendly, and we would like to enable a lot of universities to gain more popularity, especially if you are not part of the advanced economy. And we would like you to enable candidate and worker candidate to come into the worst economy. This is part of our of our uh, mission. Um, if you like to help us to do blockchain for good, and you are a university, please come and talk to us during the break, and we are willing to make a pilot with you, and if you are a charity, please come and talk to us, and we are willing to talk to you in the future. If you want to talk to us, those are our handles, and as I said, I'm Maria Vigliotti, and I'm happy to take any questions.